Embed items. Be sure to use templates for setting bolts and inspect for accurate location prior to placement of concrete. Anchor embedded items securely. Maintain spacing and clearances of all the embedded items. ACI 318-14 repealed conduit and piping embedment requirements of ACI 318-11, section 6.3.4. The requirements are now in section 26.8 of ACI 318-14. The PI needs to make sure there is no conduit or piping congestion in the slab or wall. We need to be proactive and resolve the home runs into electrical rooms or cabinets before we pour. Pour and chip later is not the way to construct concrete structures. There's a project currently under construction where the head of the vibrator was lost inside the column. Instead of opening the form to retrieve the vibrator, the contractor proceeded to cast the vibrator in the column. Fortunately for the district, the structural engineer has directed the general contractor to re remove the vibrator. Anchor bolts, cut thread versus row thread. These are two different thread making process for bolts and rods. For cutting, since the material is being removed from the solid rod, the rod diameter is equal to the nominal diameter of the rod. For rolling, when materials squeeze to form the threads, the rod diameter is smaller than the nominal diameter of the rod. Either process will yield nearly identical thread area with different diameters at the unthreaded portion. The tensile strength is not significantly affected by this process because the capacity is limited by the tension area in the threaded portion. However, shear strength may be impacted depending on whether the shear plane cuts through the threaded or unthreaded portion of the bolt. Bending capacity may be impacted in a similar fashion. Note full body diameter is required for wood connection per Table 12 of NDS 2018 version. These bolts need to be fabricated using the cutting method. While we don't need to worry about the engineering aspects of how the threads are made or how the bolts were designed, we need to make sure what was furnished in the field matches the approved drawings and specifications Bolts need to be identified, tested if required, with correct length, protrusion above base plate, embedment, etc. Typical detail for template setting of anchors is shown on this slide. Project inspector must make sure the anchors are in the proper location relative to the thickness of the wall. Anchor spacing is per approved plans. The embedment depth is provided per plan, and protrusion above the concrete is sufficient for silk plate, washer, and nut. Advise the contractor to always order longer anchors, as it is easier to cut than to extend the anchors. The hook tie anchor bolts were previously not allowed, but this limitation is for embedded anchors into masonry. Hook type anchors are allowed for embedment into concrete. ACI 318 14, Chapter 17 Anchoring to Concrete includes post install and cast in place anchors. Header bolts, J or L hooked bolts, header studs must be installed before placing concrete. Wet setting of anchors is not allowed. Post install expansion anchor and undercut anchors must be qualified per seismic simulation testing of ACI 355.2. Adhesive anchors must be qualified per ACI 355.4. Adhesive anchor insulation must be performed by a ACI CRSI certified installer applicable to the type of anchor systems installed. This slide presents a wallet card of a certified adhesive anchor installer. 
there are three types of certification. Piston plug system, retaining cap system, combined piston club and retaining cap system. Note, certified adhesive installer is required for anchors in horizontal and upwardly inclined positions. Project inspector must check the name on the wallet card with the installer's photo ID. Make sure the type of system used matches that on the wallet card. Verify expiration date of the card and check certification on the ACI CRFSI website. Specialty inserts are not covered in ACI 318. However, compliance requirements are contained in sections 26.7.1 and 26.7.2 of ACI 318-14. Generally, ICC ESR or equivalent reports are required for specialty inserts. Project inspector needs to read the report to see if the insert may be used for the intended application, such as can the insert be used for gravity and lateral forces? Can the insert be used in exterior application? And confirm installation requirements, etc. Project inspector needs to inspect for accurate and secure placement of embedded items prior to concrete pour. Anchors shown in this photo appear to have varying lengths and spacing. Some anchors appear to be installed at an angle which suggests that the anchors were not secure prior to concrete placement. Please refer to section 2304.3.4 of 2019 CBC for seal plate anchor requirements such as 5 8 inch diameter by 12 inch long bolts, spaced at 48 inches maximum, minimum two bolts for each piece of seal plate, 4 inch minimum and 12 inch maximum clearance to the end of the cell plate, 7 inch minimum embedment into concrete or masonry. Please check your approved drawings for actual cell bolting requirements. The lack of coordination is evident in this slide. There must be an electrical cabinet in this short shear wall, as evidenced by the hold downs installed at the ends of the wall. It is obvious that the anchors do not have proper end distance. The large number of conduits in the sill plane means the shear wall is not capable of transferring the load to the same wall. Coordination prior to concrete pour will likely avoid this issue by either relocating the electrical cabinet elsewhere or provide a fur out wall to hide the conduits and keep the silk play of shear wall intact. Proper spacing between conduits and anchor bolts must be maintained. Recall that 4 inch minimum and 12 inch maximum end distance is required for silk play anchors.